Um, I'm back to a little bit of sad news, and this is um, I, I, I like to talk about this topic just because it's hard. Right, So we want people to believe in whatever they want to believe in. We want everyone to be as religious as possible. We want everyone to be as non-religious as possible. We want people to do whatever the goddamn hell they want to do. As long as that does not harm other human beings. And this story really hits home to me because this is the kind of thing that I really have a hard time with, especially when it comes to the ethics of the situation. So what am I talking about? There's a baby that died of malnutrition after the, his... Um, after the parents refused to get help from hospitals because they were Christian and they did not believe or um, want the medical help. They believed that it was God's will that will either save the baby or not. <clears throat> Is this entirely true? Maybe not because let me get into the details. Let me tell you what happened and then we'll go from there. So a 10 month old girl died of malnutrition and dehydration after a Christian parents allegedly refused to seek medical help for religious reasons, fear of child services and a lack of trust in medical service. Um, the parents' names are Seth and Tatiana, and they have been charged with a felony, murder, and first-degree child abuse in the death of their daughter, Mary. Um, yeah, I think they, they throw the book at them, because on top of the fact that the uh, their 10-month-old girl has died, they also have two more children, and both of which were malnutrition, so were, they were, you know, neglected. It, it's a sad situation. It's a really, really sad situation. <laughs> Um, so Welch, which is the husband, Mr. Seth, Seth Welch, um, has posted about child protective services, a distrust of doctors and religious beliefs on Facebook. He called doctors priesthoods of the medical, of the medical cult and spoke in one video post about refusing to get his children vaccinated. The righteous shall live by faith. It's God who is sovereign over disease and those sorts of things. And of course, ultimately deaths. He said, um, this is the things that really get me, you know, turning and, you know, frustrated, right? It's really, really frustrating. I want you to believe in whatever you want to believe in. But what I don't want you to do is put other people in harm because of your beliefs, right? And especially when it comes to these very types of situations where it's, um, you know, parents and children and they get the choice to say, no, I don't want my kids vaccinated. No, I don't want to take my kids to the hospital. I want to use some herbs. I want to use some, you know, spices. Some I, I want to pray for my kid instead of helping them and taking them to the hospital. You can do all of the above. You can do all of the extra stuff you want to do. But when it's not your life we are talking about, please, please, please take those children to the hospital. And I feel like this is common sense. I don't even know why I'm saying it, but it just really, it makes me really upset to know that this is the kind of thinking that people actually have. Specifically with this situation, I'm in thinking that they were using the religion as, a, as an excuse of just not treating their children, right? Because um, the situation says that they had two, old, uh, two, other older, two other older siblings, two other older children, right? And both of those children were taken away after the situation, obviously, number one. But number two, they were also charged for neglect for those two older children. So it's not like those two older children were healthy, young, and whatever, and the, the, just the baby was sick, and they just didn't want to take them to the hospital. No, they were also not feeding these kids, um, you know, neglecting these kids. So I think, number one, they're bad human beings. Number two, the religion allows them, get, not allows them, but gives them a, a rationale to be bad, um, saying that, obviously, I don't believe it. You know, I'm not saying anything about the whole religion. All I'm saying is that in this situation, that was their excuse to not take the children to the hospital. But I also think, on top of everything else, forget the religion about it. Those are just two bad human beings. Throw the book at them. Yes, if they need to go to jail, uh, life, you took a 10-month-old baby's life away for no reason at all. Take them to the hospital. It would have been that simple. If you can't handle the children, if you don't want to take care of your children, at least put them up for adoption. There's just no excuse. There's no excuse, and it hurts to even talk about it.